know that, that Connor was struggling with some uh, mental health issues. I'm afraid that whatever we come up with as the cause isn't going, still isn't going to make sense. We're getting our first look into the mind of the man who walked into the old National Bank building and shot several of his former co-workers, killing five of them the day after Easter Sunday. This is Wave News 11, I'm John Bull. Earlier today, LNPD released the case files from the mass shooting investigation, including what the shooter did leading up to the morning of April 10th. Wave News reporter David Ochoa went through all 64 pages. The investigator says the shooting was planned and carried out in just a week's time. The case file says the possible motives for the shooting was political, specifically money politicians receive and the lack of gun control. 4-3. That's the date at the top of Connor Sturgeon's journal. Just seven days before, he would walk into his workplace and shoot eight of his coworkers, killing five of them. Written below seems to be some sort of crude pros and cons list, like having good grades and a perfect girlfriend, but also gives a look at some darker thoughts about himself, such as having nothing to live for or the, quote, inescapability of depression. Also on the page is his desire to make an impact in things such as climate disaster and the lack of mental health care. But what sticks out in that list is gun access and politicians with no interest of helping people. The next day, April 4th, more pros and cons. This time he talks about a suicide attempt. After the shooting, his parents said he was seeing two mental health professionals. We know that, that Connor was struggling with some uh, mental health issues. Later on that day, he writes, quote, I have decided to make an impact. These people did not deserve to die, but because I was depressed and able to buy guns, they are gone. Perhaps this is the impact for change, upper class white people dying. I certainly would not have been able to do this were it more difficult to get a gun. In the case file, they have the receipt of his gun and ammo purchases. $762 for a rifle, six boxes of ammo, one grip, three magazines, and one sight. He wrote about how easy it was to buy everything. He was able to walk in, and from what we've been told, again, I, I don't know, you know, just what we've been told is that he walked in and was walked out with uh, a weapon and ammunition in 40 minutes. The next few journal entries were letters to friends and family. In his letter to his parents, he apologized for what he says he had to do. He accused politicians of caring more about money than lives. He wrote, quote, they won't listen to words or peaceful protests, so let's see if they listen to bullets. He ends the letter by writing that this is not senseless, and if anyone sends thoughts and prayers, give them the wrath of God. The shooter's parents wanted his brain checked for CTE as a possible explanation for his actions. Now, the medical report says after an examination, CTE was not found. David Ochoa, Wave News.